hello students in the last session we have studied about branching programs in today's session we will study in brief about strings in python objects of type str are used to represent string of characters in python so strings in python are represented by the object the object is str so python strings are represented by str object and literals of type str can be written by using either single quotes or double quotes so you can represent a string literal in python by using either single or a double quote for example if i say uh, s is equals to in single quote if i say python python consider this as python so we can represent a string in either single quote or double so this s is having value python in the type of s here it is string so s is a string object or we, we call it as str object this is our str literal and this is our str object so str literal can be defined either by using single quote or we can use double quotes also okay let's try typing the following expression into python so if we type something on the shell like in single quote a that will print the same character again if we type on the shell say if we type 3 into 4 what do you think it will print 3 into 4 is 12 but if i type 3 into a if you look at here the parameters uh, the operands for the operator star here are of different type here it was of same type both the operands were of type integer so multiplication was performed and the result was 12 but in case of this the first operand yes it is integer but the second operand is of type string that is str so when we multiply a string by an integer number what happens in python so what do you think uh, happens in java if you multiply a string by a number yes you cannot multiply a string by a number in java but is it possible to multiply a string by a number in python let's execute and check this so let me open the shell to enter this command okay let me open the shell now okay so let me type this particular command over here okay so 3 into 4 if i say it will straight away print 12 but if i multiply the string by 3 if i say a just look at the output of this statement if you look at the output of the statement it is printing 3 times a means 
when you multiply a string by a number that many time that string is repeated so here a is repeated thrice because we are multiplying it with 3 so if i say 3 into in single quote python what do you think will be the output of this statement so it will be 3 times python so python python and python so multiplication operator here it is overloaded so when we use the multiplication operator with the numbers it acts differently and when it is used with string it acts differently okay look at one more uh, statement 3 plus 4 again 3 plus 4 yes it is 7 but when i say a string plus a string what this plus operator does again string plus a string it is a concatenation so again even plus operator it is overloaded when it is applied with numbers it performs addition when it is applied with string it performs concatenation so if i say a plus in single quotes a the output is a a that is the concatenation and of course 3 plus 4 is 7 when we use it with numbers okay this is how different operators works with string in python you can declare a string uh, i have already shown you how to declare a string once again i'll show you here on the shell i can declare a string say x is equals to python in double quotes also i can declare a string x is equals to python i can print it if you want to see the value of x you can say equal x okay the same invalid statement okay the statement which is used to print the value of variable in python it is not echo it is print print x now you can say it is printing the value of x and the value of x it is the string object having value python even you can check the type of x i said it is a string you can verify by using a function called as type function which we have studied earlier type function returns the type of value so i'm passing x to it and it is returning you can see it is returning the type as str so string in python can be declared in this way and string it is simply some set of characters okay the length of a string so length of a string can be found by using a function called as len function in python so you can find the length of a string by using len function and indexing can be used to extract individual characters from a string for example if you type something like in single quotes a b c this is our string and then the array brackets i am passing zero that means i am extracting a character from the string which character i am extracting i am extracting zeroth character so if you type something like this it will return the zeroth character in the string the zeroth character is a same way if i type a b c in single quote and then three so i am trying to extract third character from the string but looking at the string do you find any third character in the string my answer is no there is there are only you can say this is my zeroth character this is first character this is second character there is no third character or the character at location three so that produces an error message it will produce an error message the error message is 
index and a. Even it is possible to use negative numbers for index. So, in case of negative numbers, it, it will use the index from the end of a string. For example, look at this example now. We have a statement abc in square bracket minus 1. In this case, it is returning c because negative index always returns values from the end of a string. So, minus 1 means the last value in the string, minus 2 represents the second last value and so on. So, let us try this with uh, on the shelf. Okay, let me, uh, I already have declared a string that is x. Let me uh, check the length of a string by using a len function len x. You can see the length of a string is 6 python. If you look at this python, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Indexing, I can find the index, the 0th character. Uh, let me check from this string. x is my string. So, x of 0. Can you see? The 0th character is p. So, python 0th character is p. Same way if I say x of uh, say 5, what will it return? It is returning n, that is the last character in the string, or you can say fifth character in the string. But if I pass a number, say 6, do we have a character at position 6? No. So, what it is returning? It is returning an error message. If you look at the error, the error is string index out of range. Now, if I use uh, something like uh, negative numbers, negative indexing, x minus 2, what do you think it will return? Minus 2, when you pass indexes in negative numbers, the uh, individual values from the string are written in a reverse order from the uh, behind the string. So, minus 2, it is the second last character in the string that is O. So, if I type minus 2 here and if I enter, you can see it is returning me O. If I say minus 3, in that case, it may return me H and so on. So, these are some uh, string manipulations which we can do in Python. So we can find the length, we can uh, use indexing, individual characters can be retrieved by using indexing. Even negative indexing can be used in Python. Okay, next is slicing. Means simply uh, removing a part of a string that is called a slicing or we call it as substring in some other languages. Slicing is used to extract substring of arbitrary length. Now, what is the syntax of slicing in Python? So, the expression you can see here as in bracket, in bracket we have start, start, colon, end. Now, denotes the substring of S that starts at index start and ends at index end minus 1. So, if you want to remove a part of a string, you can use this particular syntax. The string and in array bracket, you have to specify starting index and ending index position. For example, if you have something like ABC in single quote and in array bracket we have specified starting index as 1 and ending index as 3. Means remove a string from this complete string starting at first index position and which ends at 
3 minus 1. Look at this as per syntax, it is end minus 1. So, it is 3 minus 1. So, starting with 1, the first, this is 0 and this is first and this is second character in this string. So, starting with first means it will print B and 3 minus 1 that is 2 and second it is C. So, the output of this particular example it is B C. So, part of a string can be retrieved in this way. Okay, there are different forms of uh, slicing. So, you can look at this example below. You can specify slicing in this way also. So, A B C in bracket, if you look at this particular thing, start is not specified. The regular syntax it is start colon end, but start is not specified in this example. Directly the end is specified. In this case, start is always considered as the zero or the beginning of a string. So, start is considered as zero when it is not declared. So, from zero to three, the meaning here it is from zero to three. So, from 0 to 3 in that case, it will 0th location we have A, second location we have, uh, first location we have B and second location we have C. So, output here it is A, B and C. Same way, even we can specify it like where start is declared but end is not declared. In such cases, end is considered as the length of this string. So, 1 colon again length is uh, the end is not specified and what is the length of our string here? This string has a length that is 3. So, end is considered as 3 here. Starting at first means first position we have the character that is b and 3 minus 1 that is 2 till 2 means at 2 we have c. So, that will become b c. Even it is possible to substring without specifying the start and end. When you substring by without specifying start and end, it will simply return a copy of the same string, a complete string with the start as 0 and end as the length. So, output of this particular thing it is a, b and c. So, this is how you can perform slicing or substring operations on a string in Python. Let me show you this with an example. Okay. I already have a string that is Python. Uh, let's say Python is stored in x. So, I will say x in bracket. Uh, the start as I'll start it from one, okay, and I'll say six. So what do you think will be the output? First position, what we have, we have y, and six. From first to six, so six we have, I think, uh, six minus one it is, so that will be five, and at five location we have n. So from first to five we have the string, okay, let us look at the output. It is printing the substring from the complete string that is Python. Okay, as I have told you, uh, even it is possible that we skip the start and we can include only the n. In that case, start is considered as the first character that is 0. So, you can see the output. It has started from Zero. Even it is possible not to declare, so even we can declare the start, but no to declare the end. Okay, in that case, end is considered as the length of a string. So we have this out. Even it is possible. To create a substring 
by not specifying both start and end in that case it will simply return a copy of the same same string that is the complete string python so this is how you can perform a slicing operation on strings in python okay uh, that's it about strings in detail about strings we will study in the later uh, sessions here uh, today we will stop here thank you very much